<laughs> okay, hello all you people out there. This is Michael with Two and a Half Stages, and this is Epic Battle Fantasy Four. Okay, so we just um we're slowly making our way up this temple thing in the sky, and this is um I remember these weird enemies. Um, they make me think of Easter Island for some reason. Although uh, when I look at them seriously, they don't look anything like giant statues of I can't remember the names of the natives there. Um, it doesn't look like Natalie can do anything there, so, uh, let's go and bust some attack and, uh, use that little bridge. Okay, ton of experience, two more level ups, and moving on. Oh, what am I saying here, and why am I just making random um, oh noises? I do not know. Uh, there was something over here, if I recall correctly. Lag. Yeah, some mage birds. I'm gonna have to um, play off screen. You know what? While I'm waiting for my HP and stuff to regenerate, I am going to go into um, do my rounds with these sort of things, so... yeah. There we go! Now what's this thing up to? Uh, yes, you are mage birds and clays and this is all stuff we've seen before! Wonderful! And they're gone now. Let's see, bridge piece, chest, what are you containing? Uh, Alright, so that's some, like, mercury, and that's some pink potion, and that's some glass. Uh, Alright, I guess that's fairly useful for crafting and um, upgrading my weapons and whatnot. Speaking of which, I kind of feel like switching around my weapons a little bit, and um, there's some variety, but we'll see. Uh, I do not recognize this ring thing. What the heck is it? Uh, ring things. Because I think there are... Um, there's only a couple of more entries in the beast area that I need to collect. I think it's like a bee in some new form of pyrohydra. Uh, because that's where they are, they're like right in between all the bee varieties and pyrohydra varieties. Uh, but enough of that. Let's do this. Oh, hello there! Some Mr. Golden pyrohydra thing. Uh, let's see, first I'm going to go and, um, kill all these things as I usually do and then scan it because I don't really want to have, like, um, a lot of things ganging up on me and then me wasting time scanning stuff. Uh, you are weak to bomb, thunder and wind, and, um, pretty much neutral and everything else. Uh, let's see, the best I can do there is thunder. No, I have a wind attack because I want some wind, but thunder's still going to do more damage, so let's go with that. Um, and of course it misses. Alright, that's does, this doesn't look good. I don't really want to have to um, bring Matt out here from backup because they're going to kill me because I'm on relatively low health facing five enemies. Uh, and it has a little break which I guess could be useful. Um, I seem to be using that whoa, a little bit more than I did in uh, Abigail 23, the limp break function. And I can't believe there's no AI to tell these guys like if one of my teammates is like that 228 HP out of 14,000 and just kill them and finish them off. Um, anyway, so these guys have other life are going to be annoying. Uh, that should finish this thing off if he doesn't miss again. Thank you very much. Wait, what? Uh, I don't know what just happened there, but okay. Um, see how much the bomb does. The bomb doesn't have the greatest of uh, base power, but eh, it's good enough. Um, should I go with that or uh, full heal of pizza? I feel like I should full heal because I need, um, Natalie needs some MP also, and, um, yeah, 6,000 HP isn't really going to do all that much for me, I think, so, I uh, better play it safe. It's not like I don't have pizza and don't have enough money to go buy some more anyway. Um, can you not, like, heal yourself while I'm not looking this time, please, or whatever you're called? What is this thing called? It's like, a machine, except not a machine, it's like, I don't know. It's you get some weird enemies when that Ross has been making these games for seven years. Uh, let's see. So this should be able to finish him off with a um, pulsar, and then I should be free to scan this guy. So can we do that? 
Almost. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. That annoying auto life thing. At least I don't recover with um, full HP like they did in the Battle Fantasy one or two. I forget. Um, so it was essentially like fighting them twice, and you know, it was kind of annoying. Um, yeah, yeah. So I remember in, epic, in one of the earlier Epic Battle Fantasy games, I think it was number two, the um, the other ones they appeared in, like, they would have like a third of their HP, and then i just go and use, like, what was that called? The missile that Matt had, and finish them off, and I think they'd be finished off, but they'd just come back with full HP, and I wasted, like, all that summon points on a missile for, or oh, whatever, it was, it, it makes more sense in my head, though. Yeah. And Kelly just walked in the room and is probably going to annoy me. Um, let's see, can these guys die already? Thanks. Um, let's see, should I revive Lance or scan? I'll scan. Because Lance can wait, right Kelly? She's giving me a dumb look. No, I'm just choosing not to say anything. These sisters, I tell you, they're so irritating, guys. <laughs> oh, be quiet, you. What are you na what's your name again? I didn't see. <coughs> Ooh, thanks for hitting three out of like eight times. That was a gold dragon, alright. A mighty mountain dragon, which uses powerful holy attacks and heals all the foes. So naturally, you're going to be weak to poison and uh, dark. Alright, um... I believe Natalie can provide some of that. And how does it make no sense? Kelly, the thing is, like, why not? What's the problem with... Okay, person, you know how a phone in your head. She's, she's responding by bouncing a telephone on my head. I don't get it. Alright, and you can stop healing yourself, too, because that's really annoying. Oh, my, oh my God. So, um, <clears throat> alright, I'll already just die. I don't have all day here. It's been, like, three quarters of this video and this enemy session right here. It's, uh, well... Alright, we're getting there. Chipping away your massive HP. I don't like these enemies that have like hundreds of thousands of HP, but they don't really do all that much to you. Although, um, I guess that applies to. Oh my! Uh, okay! I was gonna say, I suppose that applies to like half of. more than half of the Pokemon you see in general competitive battling, but, um,. That's a different story. And Kelly, if you're confused, he was like, um, auto censoring his speech and stuff. No, I meant like that bright light white uh, thing. That, that would that right. would be um judgment. And it revived him. No, <laughs> it almost killed him. Look, I it, he, he was had, already dead. No, I revived him because coffee can like bring you back from the dead. Oh. Because that makes sense. Thanks for the experience, by the way. That's a lot. Um, anyway, where were we? We're on the bridge, I think. Yeah, we're on the bridge. Uh, I can fight you and go get that treasure chest, but I'm going to procrastinate that because I want Lance to get some HP back and I don't feel like wasting any items. Um, I think we're almost at the heart of the temple, yes. It's the final slime cat right there. And, um, yeah, the final battle already, huh? Uh, I've played this game so much. Uh, I can't get past there and go back to that one other treasure chest. Can I read this? Sir Meow Russ here. Your time has come. Hmm. Sir Meow. That's like the most creative name ever, right? Oh, and this is the Slime Cat. I thought I was an enemy or something. Because, like, I don't know. It looks like it's actually doing something there instead of just, like, sitting on a rack like the rest of these guys. Should I go back to the home and get food and stuff? Nah, that'll take effort. Um. Anyway. I could end the video here, but I think that would be kind of short once I cut out all the unnecessary battle and whatever. Um, is there a chest? Yeah, there's a chest behind here too, but once again, I can't get to it because there's stuff in the way. And I don't feel like doing that right now. Uh, we got some treasure from that. Amethyst. There's so many random rocks that are, like, items in this game. It's kind of strange. What's random floating ring? Hmm? Oh, just your standard enemy. I suppose you can go fight it now. It's like one of those like, weird eyeball things from uh, previous games, except not. Oh. Anyway. Anyway. Battle of the Worlds, yeah, yeah. 
130,000 experience is like nothing now. Um, and that's such a, and that's even when it's distributed over um, three characters instead of the usual four. Anyway, I think that's enough for this. What happened to the fourth one? Part of he died. Remember? He did. <laughs> Hi, this is me making a gesture of extreme frustration with Little Sisters right now. <laughs> I don't even know if the microphone would be able to hear that because I was talking to my hands. Anyway, I was going to say I think that's enough for this part of the Rapid Battle Fantasy 4 playthrough, so I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, watch some other videos I've uploaded. Hopefully, this uh, final boss will come up in a little while. Uh, see you later.